Whoa, it's wet and windy out there today. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a beer and some food. Uh, we're going to be having a look at Daz Hell. It's a 5% ABV. More than likely Hell's Lager by the looks of it. Uh, it's by Schwabenbrau, Germany. And we're going to be pairing it with a cauliflower leek goat's cheese Wellington Slice. It takes about half an hour to put in the oven, so I'll whack this in the oven very quickly. Oh, these are wrapped. It's weird, isn't it? Some of these things... Some of these things are not wrapped. Some of them are wrapped. I prefer not to have the plastic on it, if I'm honest. That just gets discarded now. Gets probably ends up in the sea. That looks pretty interesting, though, doesn't it? See the ice coming off it. Anyway, half hour in the oven. Back in a moment, we'll get into the beer. The Wellington slice is out the oven. Let's get into this Daz Hell. So it, this was purchased in Aldi too. Boom! Nice bit of smoke, a pop on the swing top opening. Yeah, the beer was purchased in Aldi. It was two pounds. Probably not the right glass. I understand this totally, but it's a German beer. It's a hell. I know this is a Weiss beer glass, but I don't really have any other style of German beer glass. So I'm going to put it in this Weiss beer glass. Um, I know there's some purists out there that you can't do that, but you know, it's the closest German beer glass I have. Good levels of carbonation, uh, light straw coloured beer, two finger white head. Here's a look at the slice. It's pretty good. Cauliflower, leek, goat's cheese and Wellington, and Wellington slice. Yeah, it was purchased for £2 in Aldi. I'll get there in a minute. It's probably part of their Christmas range of beers. Uh, this is certainly part of their Christmas range of food. I just thought I'd pair it for you guys. There was only three bottles left of this on the store shelf, which means it's very popular. So let's grab it, let's review it. Let's get the aroma on this clear, light amber colored beer. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of biscuit malt. I'm not going to say biscuit malt, crystal malt, crystal malt, sweetness, spiciness, pepperiness. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. This is quite sweet for my personal palate. It's it's quite a bit more sweet than it is bitter. And from as I mentioned, for my personal palate, I was expecting something a little bit more bitter on the back end for this hell. Ooh. Yeah. Does this? Is this part of the Reichheischerbot? If this is a German beer, then it has to, by law. Um, uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, it's made in Germany. There's no ingredients on the back. Uh, yes, it is. Ingredients, water, barley, malt and hops. And of course, yeast. So the right Heischerbot is for ingredients only. It's a German purity law to stop you putting stuff like saccharin in the beer. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. The first taste on this, I kind of just went, oh, it made me bulk back a bit. It was almost like tasting some kind of sweetener in the beer. But by law, they're not allowed to do that. They have to tell you on the back of the label exactly what's in the beer. 
German purity though. So I gotta trust that. I gotta trust that it's just the malted barley. Um, it's, it's, it's a very sweet beer. Maybe they need to add a few more hops to this beer, or maybe they have a fan base that like quite sweet beers, but I, I, I lost my sweet tooth when I got involved with beer. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 years ago, whenever it was, I really got interested in beer. I started to really enjoy the bitter beers. My whole palate changed, not just for beer, but for food too. I don't eat sweets. I have a little bit of chocolate now and again. I, I would much prefer something savory and bitter than something sweet and candy-like. And this is just leaning towards that that sweeter beer that I'm not massively a fan of. 5% ABV though, two pounds, quite cheap, nicely carbonated, very drinkable, very refreshing. Just a bit too sweet. Okay, on to the cauliflower, leek and goat cheese slice. There's a look at it. It kind of, I kind of stood it up in the oven and it kind of like collapsed a bit on itself. So this is probably leaning towards being a, not vegan, but vegetarian dish for people for maybe Christmas. Cauliflower is very good uh, It's got a good consistency to it, so if you miss the feel of meat Cauliflower is quite a good substitute for that, a natural substitute Mmm, but this is really tasty Some red onion. Can you see the red onion there? The goat's cheese is quite strong. Quite nice. The leek's good. Mmm. If you don't eat meat this Christmas, you won't go far wrong with this. Especially with a couple of beers. Mm. It's like some kind of vegetable pie. But the pastry gives it just enough. Just enough for me. I'm a meat eater. Um, me personally, if you served me this instead of a big meat dinner, I'd be pretty disappointed. Even if it had roasties and gravy and everything else, all the trimmings next to it. Me personally, I'd much prefer, much prefer to have some pigs in blankets and some turkey and some gammon, that type of thing on my on my Christmas dinner plate. So, so I suppose where you are, if you're in the middle, if you're if you don't mind a bit of meat but you're looking to become a vegetarian maybe just for christmas maybe just take a blind eye and enjoy some meat and then maybe try something like this after christmas but if you are a vegetarian and you're dead set i'm eating just vegetarian food it's not bad it's not bad cheese is good it's a little wet, it's a little kind of wet, little sloppy. I put it in for the for the 30 minutes it told me to. Any more I think the crust would have started, well it's already started to burn on the corner. It's just a touch. Wet and slippery in the middle. But it's pretty good all the same. So probably the more, I would say, I've been doing these beer and food pack, uh, matches now for the last few weeks, and this is probably the least 
exciting one I've done. The beer's been a little bit too sweet. That's a little bit sloppy in the middle. I'm not jumping for joy like, you know that puff pastry sausage roll I did with the, that Rheinbacher Pilsner from Aldi? That was tremendous. That was tremendous. This, it's average. Six out of ten for the beer. Six out of ten for the food. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.